Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we are now going to Winnipeg, <clears throat> bobtailing, and uh, we're going to be picking up an empty trailer here at the place, and then we're going to go down to uh, Portage La Prairie, pick up a load over there, and then we're going to Blue Earth, Minnesota. Yeah, that's right. Another beautiful sunshine morning, nice and calm day. But yeah, we gotta get over there and pick up our uh, trailer. Man, to the last couple of days has been a busy couple of days. Yes, indeed it has been. It's been a crazy day yesterday and the day before so I don't even know how much video footage I got and how much I'm actually going to put up I might actually just take those two days out and just say I have a couple of days off <laughs> don't know for sure yet but I'm thinking that's what we're going to do but I might put something up but we'll see but yeah, here we are coming into Winnipeg. We'll see if we're going to have to do a live load over there in Portage or if it's just going to be a trailer switch. Some days it's just a trailer switch, some days it is a live load up there. So, uh, so yeah. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what happens, but... Just as I was getting ready to leave there, the uh, office called me and they wanted me to go do a drug test and I said, I have no problem doing a drug test, but I said I got an appointment there and got to be there by 11 for my appointment in Portage and so Speed limit reduced ahead. dispatch said no, dispatch said no, he's got to be there so they can't really take me away from that because then I'll be late for my appointment so <clears throat> so they're gonna get me next time when I come home <laughs> that's right but anyways that's the deal this morning I mean I got nothing against going to take a drug test that's what I told her too is hey I have no problem going there I go there and take care of business be on my way right but yeah. Yeah, it looks like we got the left lane closed up here, so a little bit of construction everywhere in the summer, right? I have now picked up my uh, empty trailer. Yes, that's right. We have done that now. So now we gotta make our way down to Portage La Prairie. Yeah. We got us about 45 minutes left on the clock before we have to be there it looks like we're going to be there right on time that's from what it looks like right now unless we get too many lights up here telling us we got to stop there for a good while yet you know but other than that we should be there right on time that's exactly what we wanted right got about 69 kilometers to go yet and uh it's quarter after 10 right now so should only be uh, 45 minutes worth of driving before we hit their hit their place, you know. Let's see if this chicken house is going to be open up here today. I doubt that very much that they're going to be open today, but we'll see. They might be open, but they might only be open coming the other way. That's the way it's been for the longest time, anyways. I wonder what they built up here now build some kind of new business up here I mean this is a business area up here anyway so a lot of businesses are around this area so so yeah we do have quite a few business here a few truck stops along this route here before we get out of Winnipeg but yeah do not quite see the lights just yet for the uh, scale but we'll be seeing that here in a few 
But yeah, we got a Husky truck stop up here to the right. This is part of Winnipeg, but they call it Headingley up here. Oh, I see a Penner trailer being dropped up there even. I wonder why he dropped it. It's like uh, one of those that hold two trailers. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like the scale is open. From what I can see, the lights are not flashing, so... But looks like this light up here is going to change on this, so we're going to have to stop up here. But I guess that's alright. You have to stop when it's red, right? <laughs> yeah, anyways, we'll go down uh, towards Portage and then uh, we'll see how lucky we are today. Alright guys, we were lucky enough to just be able to do a trailer switch. Yes, indeed. That was awesome. I was able to just switch trailers and get out of there. I did need to get some fuel though. So uh, what I did is uh, just down the street here, there's a Flying J type of uh, shell slash Flying J truck stop there. So I went up there and filled up just the one side of the tank. Make sure that way we got some fuel. Yep, we need some go, go juice, so we at least filled up the one side of the tank, so we should have enough to get down to where we need to go. Won't have a hell of a lot more than that, but hey, at least we got some fuel. We'll have to fill up somewhere in the States. But I didn't want to fill up both sides because uh, that'll probably put me overweight. Because I know this company, I wasn't able to scale it anywhere. Like even this slash fly, this uh, shell slash flying J doesn't have a scale there, so I can't really scale it up there. Oh, there is no scale, so I can't. And the customer used to have a scale, but they haven't uh, allowed us to scale there anymore. I don't know if they really the scale really is broken, or if they just don't want to fix it, or what, but. They don't allow it to scale us there anymore, so we just gotta scale it somewhere else then. And so I guess we'll uh, probably scale it somewhere down the road here, but I know they're usually pretty heavy, so I know I usually can't fuel it right up. I can never do that really on these trips, but. I mind you, in Minnesota, I do have an exemption for uh, my APU unit, so over there I would be probably okay. Because, uh, well, Minnesota does uh, have a 550 pound weight exemption, and uh, North Dakota has got a 400 pound weight exemption, so I should be okay, but then again, you never know, right? So. We're gonna go across the scale somewhere and make sure, right? If it's too crazy, then we just can't do it, right? But, uh, normally I can do it as long as I don't fuel it up all the way, you know? So I should have a little bit more than a half a tank of fuel. Mind you, by the time I run into the States and all that, by the time I... I mean, generally, this little scale there just in North Dakota is not open, but... We can't bet the money on it, right? We gotta be sure. But yeah, that's where we are at now. We gotta basically hammer down. We can't waste any time. We gotta be at our delivery tomorrow at 9 a.m. in the morning. So that's a tight one. But that's the way it is. All right, guys, here we are at a DOT scale. And it was showing 520 on there already. And it's only showing 4600 or something on there. So it's not even close to being right. I guarantee you that scale, this scale is not even close to being right. <laughs> I guarantee you I'm a little heavier than what it says I am. He chose 520 there. Yeah, I am definitely very close on the back. I'm 
some light on the front though. Let's see if we can get back on the road here. We're actually just in Winkler. I guess that traffic light up there must have changed because not everybody is coming. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, we made it up to Winkler. And now uh, we finally got an opening there. Everybody moving over now, so that's good. <clears throat> we gotta hammer down to the border and get as far as we can go. I stopped in here real quick at the uh, truck stop here. Grab me a bite to eat real quick. And then we just gotta go, go, go. That's right. We can't waste too much time in there, that's for sure. But yeah. Let's see what we can do for our delivery. Hopefully we can make it on time. Welcome to North Dakota, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we made it into the United States. It was easy border crossing again today. That makes me happy. Not much of a lineup over there, so it was easy in and out of there. So fantastic news. Yes, indeed. Here we are. Now we're going to put the hammer down and get to our delivery place. We already got us a reload offer, too. We're picking something up in Minnesota and bringing it right back to the same place that we were just at. <laughs> and Portage. Well, at least I think it is in the same place, but, but yeah. Going back to the same place as far as I know. So here we go. Let's go. Somebody lost something there. <laughs> something fell off of a vehicle or something. But yeah. This is called fast track up here. That's right. Up here to the left is a little bit of a truck stop up here. So uh, whenever your paperwork is not cleared or whatever, you can go there and wait for your paperwork to clear to cross the border. That does happen occasionally, even with me. Had to do that too. It looks like that this boy is gonna be done here pretty soon, guys. Yeah, we got us about another mil, 13 more miles or something like that, and I think we're gonna call it quits for today. Yeah, I think by eight o'clock we'll say that's it. We're calling it a day for today. We'll be in Suck Center, Minnesota. That's right. And I already got me a reload. I think I mentioned that earlier, so I looked it up. It's only about two hours worth of driving to do after we deliver our load at this place, so it's close by uh, Minneapolis. So we'll be, uh, we'll be pretty good shape there, so uh, I think once I stop here, I'll still have about three and a half hours worth of driving to do yet tomorrow, so... And I looked it up, and uh, I told dispatch I might be there a little bit late. So they said, no problem, no big deal. So, uh, so yeah. We might not get there exactly at 9, but maybe 10 o'clock would be more reasonable. So, I mean, if I didn't have... You know, maybe wasted quite as much time there stopping and having me a bite to eat. But I mean, at the same time, I did have to do that because I have to have my eight hours. I mean, uh, half an hour off between the eight hour shift, right? So I kind of had to have that half an hour off in there too. So, so yeah, it doesn't matter how you look at it. I got to have a break and I got to be able to eat too. So, and that's what we did. And as you can probably tell, I am putting the hammer down, that's a fact. I've only been doing that for the last few miles though, I just want to get down there to the uh, truck stop in the next few minutes. And there was a penner driver that passed me there, and I know he had his truck floored, I bet he's governor at 65. I passed him already. My truck is governor. 
but uh, not at 65. That's right. But that's all right. Anyways, we got us a few more miles and we'll be done. Nice calm day out here, that's for sure. It was another nice warm day today. It was like 30, 31 degrees Celsius again today. So yeah, beautiful day, that's for sure. I'm happy, happy, happy. It looks like we are done for today, guys. Yeah, look at that. We're here at this truck stop and we're calling it done. So uh, we're gonna be going to bed here very shortly so that way we can get up early tomorrow morning and get out of here, right? We want to try and get as close as we can possibly get to our appointment time, right? So, uh, without, or, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get out of here. I appreciate you watching. If you liked it, big fat thumbs up. If not, hey, thumbs down. If you really liked it, share it. <clears throat> if you're new to our channel, would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button. What makes us love our job is when you hit that subscribe button and that like button. That's what, that's what makes our, us love our job. That's a fact. But yeah, appreciate you guys all. We'll see you right here tomorrow morning. Don't go nowhere. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.